All right, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, command box command that is uh, crud cv admin, which will allow you to create uh, crud based applications uh, that are actually tied into uh, content box. Um, the first thing you need to do uh, is make sure you um, have it installed. Uh, so it is, uh, well, install. And you can look at this on uh, Forge Box. And we've already got it installed, so everything's um, going smooth there. So what that allows us to do uh, is, is is have the content box create CRUD CB admin command. Now the first step is we're uh, in our document root here. This here is just a content box uh, install. Uh, nothing nothing done other than uh, I ran that command it generated everything you did see there uh, we did a we did a ran that command uh, which got content box up and running um, we did go ahead and set up a data source so pre work is have a base content box up and running then install the um, the new command box command. Now, what we're going to do now is create a module uh, called Quick CRUD, and uh, from the document root, this is kind of the path you use. And I'm telling it to install it in modules content box modules user uh, with the name of Quick CRUD. The reason I like to do that there is because I can turn on and turn off um, the options um, at will. From content box so run that command you see it scaffolded out a few uh, cool items for us um, next thing you need to do is uh, go ahead and uh, change directories into that um, module you just created and um, from here we're going to actually create an ORM entity now we're not using ORM um, for the you know the database save etc and so on what we're using this for is to generate um, all the code we need and then we can actually delete this property um, when we get done so uh, you probably used this before content box create ORM entity entity name is property um, and then the properties of that is um, first name, last name, email. Um, give it a table name of my properties. Uh, in ORM, that's not necessarily an issue, um, but because we are going to be writing SQL statements, um, I wanted to define uh, the table to use. I'm going to tell it the primary key is going to be ID, uh, and the generator is going to be native. Um, now, one thing you'll need to do here. Um, and it's just based off how it's, it's scaffolded out. Uh, create an updated at and then a uh, created uh, create that there uh, just because it's already built into our SQL and uh, let's press enter so you'll see that we just created a model called property I'm going to pull this um, over here for you. And there. That's what was generated. And it's got the property first, last, um, email, updated at, and created at. Nothing fancy. All right, so from that module, or excuse me, model that we've created, um, we're going to use the new command which is the uh, content box create crud cb admin. I'm just going to paste this here, uh, but you can see it's uh, content box create crud cb admin. The entity is in models property. The plural name is properties. Uh, that's the reason why I like using the word property and properties so you can specify that. Um, the module name we're doing is uh, Quick Crud, and the table once again is My Properties. So I'm going to have press Enter, and over here you will now see 
that we have just uh, created this. There's our get function, there's get all, there's a save, um, and then you can see based off email first and last, um, and then by default updated at and created at are there. Um, this is how I like to do things. Uh, if you want to change it up, that's perfectly fine. But um, basically it's checking to see if we have an ID. If we do, we're, we're in the update. Uh, and if we're not, we're doing insert into. So um, now I did create this new object here. And the reason for that was so that um, we could use the same view for the new um, the new form, you know, the add form. Um, there's probably a better way of doing that, but that's just how I did it, and that's what we're doing for now. So, um, looks like I got a little glitch here. I'll probably update that. We would have pulled in other methods, so for now, I'm just going to delete that methods. All right. <coughs> so, on your modules, uh, your CV admin slash modules, I'm going to do a rescan. Wow, we got quick crud there. All right, so I just enabled quick crud. Now after that, I like to do a uh, a reinit fwr you know einit equals one, and it's reinitted. Now there are ways of, of adding your module links uh, over here on the side. I'm not going to get into that. Um, but what I'm going to do now is. pull this up and what you have is the list version which will list out uh, records from that there's an add so we're going to name it we're going to do add um, Andrew Davis uh, very simple let's hit save fingers crossed it worked excellent uh, here's your edit function. It pulls that same thing back up. Um, I'm now Andrew Davis, Andrew One Davis One. Hit save. Everything's updated there. Uh, we wanted to uh, delete the record. Uh, we can come over here. Hit delete. Yeah, you really want to do it? Yep. Drop it like a bad habit, and uh, everything is gone now. So you want to customize that. This is where it's, it's really cool. Is, is you have the ability to customize um, everything and I'm going to show you now the views here I'm going to pull these up uh, the index this view here um, is your results page which is that so like who wants created that up first I mean nobody right uh, and a lot of times when it auto generates of, of things that's just how how it works so I'm given the ability to quickly you know, clean this up. Um, uh, first, last, let me do email. And then we got, all right, created that. Now you've always been able to, to really do this um, even when you use the ORM um, quit scaffold. But one thing you were limited on was in the editor. So what we have are, uh, using HTML helpers, automatically generated um, the text fields for us. So obviously we don't want you know, email up there. We want it down here, but it's a quick uh, first, last email. We got a hidden field of ID there. Let's just go ahead and move it out of the way. Um, this is just some some neat little tricks um, so we're gonna do because we got three uh, we're gonna do a call and that's just pulling some bootstrap stuff and so these will be and uh, just because we're using that we're just going to assign a row real quick like. Alright, cool. So I uh, save this. Um, we'll first check out our changes. 
So we've got first last email created at actions from the new. Now we've got it in um, the three columns, first, last, email. Um, so it really gives you the uh, opportunity to build things out and tweak them um, as you see fit. Um, let's see, is it required equals true maybe? We'll just see. Uh, refresh, try to save it. Yep, please uh, fill out this field. So all those items are available for you. Um, and if you have any questions or problems, uh, feel free to give me a call, shoot me an email, whatever works. Thanks.